Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Jude Jets Show. And the Jets are about to play their second game of the season against the 0-1 New England Patriots. And can we get the win? Find out. So before we get into today's preview, let's go ahead and go over some essential game information. So Jets are playing their home opener against the 0-1 New England Patriots at MetLife Stadium. The game will be played at 1 p.m. Eastern Time and will be broadcasted on CBS. The game is not going to be broadcasted nationally. So if you want to catch the game, you're either going to have to have DirecTV's Sunday Ticket, the NFL's Game Pass, or you're going to have to be in the stadium. Or if you don't have any of those extension or cannot make it to the game, you're either going to have to to be in the New York, New Jersey area or the New England area. And now let's go over how the defense is going to do. So the Jets are getting some fresh air this week because we're going up against a less talented offense in the New England Patriots. I mean, no Christian McCaffrey, no DJ Moore, no Robbie Anderson. All is good. Now, while they do have a better offensive line and some pretty damn good tight ends, the New York Jets should be able to do a pretty good job defensively this week. I mean, one thing that worked well for us last week and is definitely going to work well for us again this week is our pass rush. I mean, I, I know the Patriots have a more talented line than Carolina's, but this still doesn't take away from the fact that we have some dogs on the defensive line. I mean, Sheldon Rankins has the best pass rush win rate in the NFL. Quentin Williams has the fourth best. John Franklin Marsh put up a pro, pro, pro football focus grade in the 80s and also had a sack last week, along with two tackles for loss. I mean, we have some legit talent at the defensive line, and I think they're going to be able to, to destroy this Patriots offensive line. And unlike Sam Darnold, Mac Jones is not an athletic quarterback. He's not going to be able to escape the pocket and make some crazy plays. So we should be able to do a good job when it comes to containing the Patriots passing attack and last week our cornerbacks locked up DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson because of the pass rush and definitely expect them to do it again this week now as when it comes to stopping the run game I think we should be successful at doing that as well I mean last year we were one of the best run stuffing teams in the NFL and we were one of the best run stuffing teams in the NFL last week so we shouldn't do that bad of a job when it comes to stopping Damian Harris, a running back not as talented as Christian McCaffrey. Now, one thing that does concern me, though, is how we're going to be able to stop the Patriots' tight ends. Hunter Henry, Johnny Smith, those two guys are top 10 tight ends in the NFL. And last year, whenever we faced a top tight end in Darren Waller, he literally won the game. Didn't literally won the game. We all know the reason they won that game. But he was a big factor of why the Raiders won that game against the Jets last year. I believe he put up over 200 yards. So our linebackers and our safeties, who did not play well this week are going to have a tough time stopping the Patriots' two tight ends. I don't see it happening, and that could be a reason why their offense has a lot of offensive success this week. So how is our own offense going to do this week against the Patriots? Our offensive success is going to rely on one thing, how we can block. We lost the game last week because... We could not block. Zach Wilson got sacked six times and was on his feet the entire game. The New York Jets should be looking to prevent that from happening this week. Now, luckily for the Jets, the Patriots do not have as intense of a pass rush as the Panthers do. They do have former pro bowler Matt Judon, and he could possibly be a problem. But I believe Morgan Moses is going to be guarding him this week. So... The New York Jets should have that covered. I mean, Moses was pretty good last week when it came to pass blocking. So the pass rush should not be as intense as it was last week. And that is definitely a good thing for the New York Jets because we desperately need our offensive line to block good this week because one of the main reasons Miami had offensive success was because the Patriots could not stop their deep ball. And we know Zach Wilson loves to throw it deep. So if our offensive line can block and give Wilson time, we should be able to let our routes develop and hopefully we can find some guys on a deep route and score a nice 50 yard touchdown sometime during this game. And how is our run game gonna do? Just depends on how the offensive line plays. If the offensive line actually blocked, we should have a successful run game, but if they don't block, our offense of you know our run game is going to suck. So, who's gonna win this week? The New York Jets are gonna win this game against the Patriots 20 to 7. Team. And if I was a betting man, I would bet that the New York Jets went outright. Well, I'm your host, Judith, signing off for now. See you later. Peace.